So I'm at Shoreditch, this is uh, one of the granite boulders uh, in London and I'm going to talk to you about feldspar which is one of the main minerals of granite and it's actually the most common mineral in the Earth's crust. So this is the typical Carlsbad twin crystal form that you might see in granite of orthoclase feldspar and when you see them actually in the granites themselves you just see sections through them which look like this. Example of what's called a base source section of the feldspar, you can see that hexagonal shape. If you turn that sideways on, it looks like this. Uh, kind of like a book shape, a tablet shape. And that's a really typical example of feldspars in this curb stone. Uh, they can grow very large. Uh, they're the first things to start crystallizing in granites. So this feldspar here, when they're this large, they're called phenocrysts. So why are feldspars so rare outside of granites? And the reason is that they weather, they turn into other things. In fact, one of the things that they weather into is the clay mineral kaolinite, which is China clay and is the main component of fine porcelain china. And in Cornwall, a major industry even now is mining of an extraction of china clay from the weathered granites. And that's where the feldspar goes to. That's why we don't see feldspar beaches like we see quartz sand beaches, because it weathers into this, this clay mineral. 